The pandemic has had a far-reaching impact on the airline industry and with the majority of travel still off-limits, what does the future hold? In some countries, consolidation is already happening. South Korea's Korean Air is buying rival Asiana Airlines, for example. And the Indonesian government is bringing together some air carriers under one holding company along with hotels. Well, let's get to travel analyst Gilbert Ott, who is in London. Gilbert, good to see you. Whenever I hear about consolidation, it usually means that there's going to be less competition and the prices are going to go up for consumers. So is this all bad news for passengers? Uh, currently, it's not a good trend. Uh, consolidation, of course, means there will likely be fewer flights because they'll merge operations and they'll find ways to make money with less uh, overall. Uh, fortunately, we do have competition around the world um, flying into most markets, so it's not all bad news. And the interesting thing here is that as the consolidation happens, not all of it is just airline versus airline. Some of it's actually state versus state. So you mentioned Indonesia. You know, now these private carriers, such as British Airways we're seeing on the screen, might have immense competition trying to beat out prices from Garuda, the state-owned carrier there who wins just by bringing you to Indonesia because the, the country owns the airline effectively uh, and the hotels and everything else you might do. So if it goes one way, it could be very bad. If it goes another, it could actually be an interesting time in travel. It might return to kind of the old days as we know it of packages uh, being more important than airfare and everything separated out. And back to the days where it's presumably governments mm -hmm. who've got far more control over airlines. I remember those days when it wasn't really that effective. Now, just quickly, is this all being caused by COVID-19 or was this already a trend that we we're starting to see before the pandemic struck? Well, so look, you're seeing airlines operate like hedge funds. You know, they were very smart uh, for the last 10 years and how they did business. And they were always looking to consolidate and merge and make one department into the next. Uh, but absolutely, COVID-19 has accelerated the balance sheet woes for these things. And so for a country that has, let's say, an interest in its airline, an interest in a bunch of hotels and an interest in the... Uh, the attractions people go to, it makes a lot of sense to actually condense those businesses down into one that operates more efficiently, you know, uh, than have 20 separate marketing departments. So it's absolutely accelerated by COVID-19. I think that will continue even as airlines uh, start to recover in the next year. Uh, and it'll be frankly fascinating times. Uh, we may never see anything like it again in our lifetime. So I'll be watching closely. IATA this week, that's the International Air Travel Association, was predicting huge losses for the airline industry. It's going to take at least another few years for everything to get back on its feet. What are you hearing from the airlines and your sources? How confident are they that they're going to be able to survive the coming months? I think the news of the vaccine was massive, you know, similar to the figures you're mentioning about boosts from Christmas sales. News of the vaccine has people considering travel once again. It was just a binary yes or no before. Now people are actually saying yes, uh, just a question of when. So the ones that are still here, I think, will exist. Uh, might they be merging and, and consolidating, perhaps? Uh, the big thing is that they'll never quite make as much money from corporate travel as they did before. Uh, people have proven that you can get a lot done from home uh, during this time. And so I think the margins that they made, those really healthy profits from the seats up front, are going to have to drop. And so it's actually going to matter getting passengers in the back of the plane again and perhaps not making it so tight. Gilbert, oh, joining us there from London. Thank you very much.